related to our life samsara and then uh, about some salient points about mentality the sphere of mentality <clears throat> so today we are going to discuss about kukucha regret or remorse which is also uh, sometimes can be a really disturbing and painful mentality in commentaries it is mentioned as a slavery slavery means not selling people uh, like like das about like we become if someone surrenders to kukucha he becomes like a slave of it he keeps on thinking thinking and we cannot forget it and there have been some discussions with some some devotees that who when the mind becomes weaker they struggle to overcome certain doubts it keeps on they keeps on thinking about it for days and months worrying about what they have done and this act of worrying is considered as a foolish act according to buddhism the thing what we have to do is everyone makes mistakes but what we have to do is to correct them and be careful not to repeat the mistakes and to do opposite wholesome deeds to what we have done it means if someone has killed animals save animals as much as possible if someone have stolen give give to others someone has done misdirection misconduct be a honest person to the partner if someone has lied tell the truth always so if someone has drunk alcohol and reduces their level of wisdom try to do things that increases your wisdom so likewise if someone has do slandering make the people unity uh, bring unity among, among people so likewise if someone has done false the remedy is to do op- opposite wholesome deeds not to regret regretting means when we say regret sometimes in the normal date uh, world we consider regretting is considering or about our faults that is something that we have to do as as a human being regardless whether a buddhist or a non buddhist if someone has made a mistake we have to acknowledge or accept our fault consider the effects of the fault what are the damages that we have done to others so this kind of consideration should be there it is not kukucha kukucha means worrying becoming sad regretting about what we have done so this removes happiness removes the pleasure and makes our mind very weaker and we don't find pleasure in wholesome deeds when the kukucha is present as it happens to venerable uda uh, venerable sudina who did committed the sex, uh, sexual intercourse with his uh, wife in the lay life as a monk and uh, even though they, he was not parajika because the rule was not laid down at that moment he is still he was still a monk but he couldn't uh give up his regret he overcome his regret so what he did was he kept on talking with other other friends he spent time without meditating without doing studying he just start to spend the time and his his appearance body all became inattractive unattractive so then the monks the friends found, understood something wrong there's something wrong so when we have a very strong type of a regret it also get manifested through our appearance so and we don't enjoy wholesome deeds when we are regretting about ourselves so this regret is something very difficult to overcome but what we have to what buddhism says is this regret is an act of 
unwise person. It's not the act of a wise man. There are many stories of Bodhisattva who overcame regret and reached higher levels of spirituality in that very same life. So if someone is the more the wisdom is, more or less the regret is. If more the wisdom is less, more, uh, more powerful the regret will be. And also depending on the strength of the Akusala that we have done, regret will arise within us. So this regret is called Kukucha. So I'll start the lecture saying not all, uh, all the considerations or acknowledging that I have, someone has done some fault, that you have done a fault, is not regret. Regretting is considering or thinking about that what happened, thinking why did I do it, I shouldn't have done it, with a sad sorrow mind, with, with the repent, uh, repenting feeling. So this is what is called regret. So there are various types of regrets and I'll be explaining them in this lecture. So if you go to the handout, I'll read the first uh, <coughs> uh, paragraph. <coughs> Kukucha is the regret about akusalas one has done and kusalas one could not do when the opportunities were present. There are two aspects of regret. Considering about what we have done and considering about the missing of the opportunity to do the kusala, it means that we didn't do. The regretting, about, regretting the unwholesome deeds and regretting about the wholesome deeds which were not done. And actually, they are the uh, uh, two sides of the same thing. Some persons who do not know the uh, who do not know the true Dhamma sometimes do evil deeds, and later, having studied the teachings, start to regret their misconducts. Some say we haven't done, we didn't know about Dhamma, so and so we did such such things in, in our younger ages. Some, having known the beneficial teachings, due to negligence and indulgence in sensual pleasures, do unwholesome deeds, and later repent their acts. Right? Some people even knowing the Dhamma are negligent. negligent. So when people regret about their evil deeds, normally they think that they would be born in woeful realms and experience misfortune in the long samsara owing to their immoral acts. This happens normally to the ones who believe in rebirth. A person who has committed crime while staying in the prison may also regret his deeds because he knows that he is in the prison because of this. So even without considering about future lives, you will still regret about this past act that because these are the results. A person who has committed uh, then in for foregone occasions, person's regret or repentance is called kukucha. Some people postpone their wholesome deeds thinking that they may do them at a later stage of the life. I will meditate when I become such and such. Right? And when struck by aging and sickness, regret the wholesome deeds they missed to perform, thinking that they lost the opportunity to be born in blissful states after life or to attain the opportunity to attain higher, higher attainments like jhana and magapala. Remorse in such cases is also called kukucha. Buddha mentions Jayata Bikkhavi Ma Pamada Ma Vipati Sari Monks, there are opportunities, there are trees, there are uh, lonely ha houses, monastery, uh, forest, go and meditate and don't regret later. Ma pacha vipati At later age, don't be regret that I couldn't utilize my strength, young, young age, to attain the higher goal. He, may, he started the verse, very famous, uh, uh, that as a sattara karaniya anukampake na anukampangupada as a monk as a, as a teacher who has compassion towards his disciples i have done that i should what should have i should have done i have preached to you the dhamma i have shown you the path it's up to you to go and uh, try the do the practice and don't regret later that i couldn't do so this is regarding regretting about the not doing wholesome deeds and also being neglect negligent about his unwholesome, uh, uh, doing unwholesome deeds without uh, sub mindfulness, right? Without it, uh, falling into negligence. Then kukucha is opposite of piti. <clears throat> when someone is about to receive comforts and luxuries in future, his mind will be overwhelmed by joy and pleasure. In contrary, when someone considers that unwholesome deeds he has performed will bring ill results in future, by not doing wholesome deeds he has missed the possible future fortunes, his mind starts to be sad and repent. This negative unattractive feeling is the kukucha chetasika. This unattractive feeling. It is also called vipati sari kukucha. Vipati sara and kukucha are synonymous. Vipati sara. 
Sara and Kukucha, regretting about what we have done, regretting the good that we haven't done, we couldn't do. <coughs> so the last line is just considering or recalling as I have done these types of akusala and did not do such kusala when I had the opportunity without worrying is not kukucha. So please underline, it's not kukucha. If you just consider about your foes that we have done, it's not kukucha. Even Buddha used to tell about his past life, what the falls he had done, right? <laughs> Normally kukucha happens when you consider about the fault that you do in this present life, right? Really it may happen about the past life, the falls. Kukucha always arises together with dosa because it doesn't like what has happened. It doesn't like what has happened. So then the next thing is when we regret. So kukucha is akusala. It appears in the dosa chitta. So someone has done akusala. So then later he regrets. So regretting is also akusala. Do not wise consideration, worrying. So what happens? Akusala plus akusala. The strength of the akusala will increase. We will study this when we come to Kama chapter. A Kama of a similar nature will increase the length, strength of the Kama. Kama of a dissimilar nature will decrease the strength of the Kama. For example, someone do wholesome deeds and rejoice about it with a wholesome mind, not with unwholesome mind, when you rejoice with a wholesome mind, sadhu, sadhu, I have done such, such things, and recall it again and again with a pleasant mind, his karma will get intensified, strength will increase. So likewise, if someone has done akusala, if you want to increase it, what he has to do is to regret about it. So then it will become more powerful and powerful. A karma that which, which could have taken a person to an animal realm by regretting may sometimes may take him into hell. So it's regretting is very dangerous according to this teaching. Just considering that one has done the akusala and correcting himself is not regret. Regretting is worrying about it. This is a very unpleasant feeling. When someone gets used to this regret, it is very difficult to come out of it. Even he will not even listen to the teachings. He will always think about, I did it, I did it. So this is what he's going to do. It's a waste of time. And only thing is, what we have done will start to increase. That is the danger of regretting. Right, danger of regret. Then, to <coughs> uh, go to the last paragraph, regretting on akusalas one has done and kusalas one could not do is a waste of time. The reason is, by regretting, the committed akusalas are not going to be undone, and the kusala which was not done will not be done newly. So when we are regretting, it is not going to correct the past, and if we are not going to do the kusala. So that is why Theravada tradition, the term kukucha is thus defined. Kukatasa bhavo kukucha. The reason of or nature of the repenting mind which is condemned by the vice. This action is condemned by the vice. Because you are doing an unbeneficial thing, just wasting about the past, worrying about the past, nothing is going to happen. Since repenting will not create the correct the mistake, no, it will do the wholesome deeds one has missed to do. So therefore, kukatasa bhavo, the act of an unwise person, that is act which is condemned by the uh, vice. So kukata means the mind which regrets. The nature or the worry, uh, the reason for such worry is the kukucha, right? What a wise person has to do is learn a lesson and correct his faults and restrain from the unwholesome and do wholesome deeds as much as possible. Uh, Mahathera has given a very nice example. If someone, what the Buddha has mentioned is, is similar to this, similar. It's not what we have to do in practical life. It means when you consider about the kamas, if someone has struck a nail on a board in a, in a, in a wrong way, it is gone wrong. So what we have to do, what the Buddha's instruction is like this. Instead of trying to remove this, what we have to do is hit another nail from the other side and remove this. 
So if someone has done Panadipata, what we have to do is save beans as much as possible. So then the strength of the Akusala may, some, because of the power of Akusala, the opportunity for this Akusala to give bad results, there is a possibility that it can be covered up. And also he has mentioned, when I asked this about personally from him, my Mahatera, uh, sometimes when I was having regrets about certain deeds, he said, this is uh, how you have to do is, you have to consider, for example, if someone has done, this also matches with one of the teachings given by the Buddha. Uh, someone has killed, for example, killing. Killing, killing means a person killing another, for example, animal, something, right? Right? Because, and we start to worry about it, I have done such and such a thing. So when regret is there, the Kamma is going to get intensified. So what he has asked to do, do opposite deed, like save the animals as much as possible. And also, but you cannot do it all the time. But whenever it comes to your mind, use this as an opportunity to turn it into Vipassana. Try to consider this memory, try to consider this action in terms of Nama and Rupa. This matches with the teachings given by the Buddha. Buddha mentions in Natakarana, in Natakarana Dhammas, Puna Chaparam Bhikkave Bhikkhu Sati Mahabhuti Chira Katampi, Chira Bhasitampi, Charita Anusarita. So according to him, Sati, here he refers to Vipassana Sati, he is able to recall what has been done long time ago. Satima, one who is mindful, is able to recall the things what has been done in the past. Chira Katampi, Chira Bhasitampi, Sarita Anusarita. Recall, repeatedly recall. The commentary says, what is this recalling? This is not just recalling what happened in our lay life or past, past, past times. Recall them with the Vipassana wisdom. It means you have to consider when we remember such a thing which happened in the past, we did such such falls when we were young, but at that time there was only two Nama and Rupa. The what was being who was killed was also a Nama and Rupa. It was Nama and Rupa, the act of Nama and Rupa happened, there was no such a person who killed, there was no such a being who was killed. This doesn't deny the Kama and Vipaka. How you look into this action as Nama and Rupa, then you develop a Vipassana Sati, Vipassana Kama based on the same action instead of regretting. So this is like de developing an opposite force, very powerful opposite force regarding the same act upon big regret. So therefore, he mentioned that if you have to leave your Vipassana like you know, Anicca, Dukkha, Anatta and even if someone is capable at that moment just by recalling this, if someone's faculties are very high, he may even attain nobility even by recalling this. So therefore, so his advice was, put it into Nama Rupa and start to consider, make a Vipassana contemplation on the act which already happened. Or sometimes you may also spread metta, but wherever this being is born, but because you cannot spread metta to a dead person, wherever he is born, maybe well, maybe fine, and develop a very wholesome kind of a mind towards that action. Right? So likewise, always think positively. So his advice was, he always gives his advice, turn into Vipassana and try to consider this based on Nama and Rupa, the incident which you did with unwholesome mindset. And then it was done with such and such Chitta, and it was done with such and such Rupa, and there was no I, there was no person who did the action, and who was uh, object of the action was also a group of Nama and Rupa. So this was a nice advice that we have to follow when something is regretting us again and again. Instead of regretting, you have to apply it with a wholesome mindset. Right? So this is how uh, the teachers would advise us. Then kukucha is twofold, <coughs> as yatava kukucha and ayatava kukucha. So this kukucha is there are two types of kukucha. So Yatava Kukucha means it's like right? 
कुकुचा इस इस सम सॉर्ट ऑफ करेक्ट टाइप ऑफ कुकुचा कुकुचा मीन्स इट्स समथिंग एक्सेप्टेबल इट मीन्स रिग्रेट अबाउट अनहोलसम डीज दैट हैव बीन डन regret about wholesome deeds that could not be done it doesn't mean that it is appreciated but it's like it's it makes sense right you make uh, regret about the deeds that we have akusala what we have done and regret about uh, regretting the wholesome deeds that could not be done then there is ayata kukucha is fourfold yata kukucha is twofold ayata kukucha is fourfold what is that some persons some people having done wholesome deeds change their view comes into another doctrine then they have understand now their view has changed now for example thing we consider paying respect to the elders as a good deed paying respect to our fathers mothers as good deed kusala but sometimes we go into the god centric doctrines in some doctrine is considered as a sin if you or you should only pay respect to the god the ultimate god if you pay respect to another human it is considered as a very bad thing now a person who has converted into that religion may worry thinking as kusala i have done akusala in the past he is worrying about the real kusala according to our doctrine he did a real kusala and he worries about it thinking as it is akusala this is also at that time kukucha appears but with a wrong idea wrong consideration in the same way some uh, rip, uh, for example a uh, very restrained from killing cows oxen or certain animals but when we go into a certain religion convert into a certain religion in that religion teachers you have to kill a ox or kill you have to kill a cow to sacrifice to the god and this is the way to go to your heavens so then he would may worry as being a buddhist or being such a person i restrain from kusala thinking as a kusala right actually it was restraining was good he is saying from akusala but because of the change of the view he starts to think he worry that he restrained from kusala that he missed out the kusalas as the opportunity that he could have killed the cows so this is also considered as a kukucha but at that time the worry is still there so we still care all the worrying happens because of kukucha but at that time there is a wrong ideology that wrong perception wrong idea is caused by wrong view but at the moment of worrying wrong view doesn't arise with kukucha it is because of the wrong view that kukucha comes but while we are worrying there is no wrong view right so so we uh, i think we discuss in to some extent about this all considerations about i me he and all these are not always wrong view which becomes wrong view when it's always connected with attachment so therefore while we worry about certain things even based on a wrong ideology wrong perception still there is no wrong view while we worry in such a manner these are called ayatava kukucha that is still the kukucha chetasika but with a wrong perception then the next types of kukucha is some people worry having done kusala for example there was a uh city called aputtaka who didn't have children in past lives he offered a meal to the pacheka buddha he did a, he did the kusala with the whole some mind but after a while he worried oh i this was just a waste of my property if i have given it to one of my slaves he would have worked and earned me some money so that i gave it just to a normal ascetic he doesn't do anything for me so he worried about his own kusala this time is not boring for example in the before cases for example in the ayata kukucha having done akusala he worries i mean not having done kusala kusala he worries now in these previous two cases having done akusala sorry having done kusala thinking as akusala he worries the next case having not done akusala thinking as kusala he worries right so in both the cases he worry that he has done akusala he also he worry that he has done akusala he thinking it as he has done akusala still the quality of the mind is same so here he worry that he couldn't do a good thing he also he worries that he couldn't do the thing though he it was a restraining from akusala so still the same quality of the mind 
In the third case, he worries about a kusala. There is no consideration that I missed out a good opportunity or I did a wrong thing. It's, he considered it was a waste of a thing. So this worry is not kukucha. Though it's termed as a kukucha, in, according to Abhidhamma point of view, we consider it as micha vayama, the effort in the dosa mula chitta while worrying about this. So that is, I'm unable to explain how the effort works there. Maybe it's because of that keep on uh, going to the past and thinking about it. Maybe because of that. But I have seen in a book, it saying the teachers consider this. They suggest that this is micha vayama while we are worrying. Because there is no such a, when it comes to kukucha, it has to be. The fundamental is, you worry either you have done a fall or you have missed a good, uh, doing a good thing. Here, he worries about doing a good thing. Then the next thing is, worries about not doing a kusala. The simile is, a, per, a snake, serpent comes to his house. So, restraining from killing, he doesn't kill it and takes it and put it in the, well, put back into the forest. It comes again and bites the child. What would the person take? There is a very high, very high possibility, if, unless he is a very good uh, high sealer person, he may worry, I didn't kill it. Right? So, and then, okay, maybe you agree with me, right? So, he, he worries that he didn't kill it. So, at that time, he is worrying that he didn't do that. So, so it's not a worrying like that. Uh, it's, it's, I think you understand. This is, this is a different kind of worry. So, when it comes to kukucha, it is the fundamental is you worry that you have done a wrong thing, you worry that you couldn't do a good thing. In this case, he worries because of the consequences. He worries his uh, uh, logic of thinking is it would have been okay if I kill this serpent even causing Akusala to save my child. Right? To save my child. If someone thinks, for example, some people think in this way, in, uh, uh, you kill a terrorist. And this consider as a kusala, or well, this is a wrong ideology, right? You see, like terrorist to save the others. This, this is a different thing. Killing is killing, right? Killing is killing. So there is a different case. We discuss this matter when we come to kama. So here he still knows it's a akusala. He still knows it's a akusala, and he worries that because the consequences weighs more than he considers. If I kill the serpent, I would have get some akusala, but my beloved son is being bitten, so the consequences are more than that, so he worries that he didn't kill the serpent. So in these two cases, so we call, here it's kukucha, still it considers ayata kukucha because of worry, because of worry, but ultimately it's micha vayam. I, can, I, I have mentioned it in the bold letters, in the paper, <coughs> below the <coughs> list. As mentioned in the Abhidharma Prakashe, the last two types of remorse, regretting the kusala which was done and akusala which was restrained, is not the kukucha chedzika but the micha vayama, wrong effort in dosa mula chitta. It's dosa mula chitta. And also, other than this, sometimes we regret about our decisions. There's no consideration about uh, kusala or akusala. Maybe it, it can fall into this even. Right? So sometimes we regret that uh, instead of coming to this college, I would have gone to that place, I would have, uh, I would have done this to that and uh, instead of uh, uh, considering this person, I would have uh, elected this person, I would have elected that person. So these kind of decisions, sometimes we worry about our decisions. There's nothing related with Kusala and Akusala. So this worry is also, as my consideration, falls into Micha Vayama under dosa. It means whatever worry other than kusala or akusala, other than worrying about who have done, you have done kusala, akusala or miss the kusala falls into this micha vaya. But they act in a similar manner. They act in a similar manner. manner. The fundamental is the kukucha in Vipas, uh, Theravada Buddhism refers to worrying about do it had about the worrying the unwholesome deeds one has done and worrying the wholesome deeds that one could not do. Then we come into another two meanings of kukucha in in terms of uh, especially you see this in Vinaya, but it can be found in the Mahanidesapali. Asangyata kukucha and Vinaya kukucha. So so far what we discussed was if you go to the previous page in the ball letters I mentioned this is called Vipatisari Kukucha. Vipatisara Kukucha is boring. 
So this empty jar of cuckoo jar has four types, uh, uh, two types, yapam and ayatam. One refers to the icha wire. So there are three types of cuckoo jar, vipati sari. Then we have asangeti cuckoo jar. Then we have Vinaya. So Vipati Sara Kukucha is worrying. Asangata Kukucha is mean unrestrained physical behaviors. Right? Unrestrained physical behaviors. Like moving your limbs improperly, sometimes throwing things up. Eh? and sometimes playing with the hands and all these things these kinds of unproper behavior especially for monks right especially for monks is called we call asangita we call hatha kukuchako pada kukuchako hatha kukuchaka means sometimes we sit and do the legs like this right sometimes do the how do you say play with the legs right and sometimes circle the arms without any reason, not for exercising or some purpose, just, just for fun, right? If you do these, these are called unrestrained behaviors for monks, right? This is also called kukucha in uh, Buddhist teachings, right? Then this is also can lead to uh, lots of uh, troubles sometimes. Yes? Become no more nama if you become Luba. Sorry? This uh, Ansayata Kukucha yeah. is Luba behavior. Uh, rupa, yes, but it is done with Nama, right? Intention is there. Both, both. Yeah. May basically, the intention of doing it, right? Intention of doing it. But as you said, Rupa can also be included. Yeah. Right? We, we shake with intention, right? Then we come into Vinaya Kukucha. Right? Vinaya Kukucha. <coughs> Vinaya uh, Kukucha means this is the inquiring mind of a virtuous monk about certain acts of which he is not sure about the appropriateness and inappropriateness of for, for, for it. is it allowable or not like it's a doubt it's a doubt inquiring with, inquiring with a doubt so this one is either Maha Kusala Chitta or Maha Kiriya Chitta it's not Akusala this Vinaya Kukucha means inquiring this comes to virtuous monks or nuns so when we are supposed to do something if we are concerned about our sila we always ask the question is it proper is it allowable is it not allowable? if we don't know it even when well, Sarikutta had this vinaya kukucha in the avasata pinda sikkapada he didn't accept the food saying kukuchayantona patigahis he didn't accept the food doubting whether this is okay or not he couldn't uh, come into sh sh conclude conclusion. Then he asked the, when it was even on the Buddha. Buddha mentions mentioned it is allowable. So when the kukucha doubt about a vinaya act, whether it's proper or not, at that time, unless we clarify the doubt, a monk or a nun is not supposed to do it. Is not supposed to do it. It doesn't mean that you have to doubt everything you do. Sometimes we figure this seems not proper. But we are not very clear if you have not studied the Vinaya thoroughly. After you have studied the Vinaya thoroughly, you get rid of this Vinaya Kukucha. Then you become starts to do things easily. In the beginning of the monk life, this Vinaya Kukucha comes. It is allowable or not? So at that time, it's up to us. If it is still doubtful and you cannot clarify by yourself, you have to leave it without doing it. Even if you do it with the doubt, it is still offense. Yes. Out of curiosity, why is the monks haven't done it yet. Why not consider the moral shame or moral guilt? Because yeah. consider not breaking the sila, then he's asked for you know the proper uh, rules or understanding. So this action hasn't been done yet. Yes. So this one was given the meaning not as a regret. This one gives as a sansaya. So this has two meanings. The kukucha word has two meanings. Sansya, it becomes like sansya karapa. It means you are doubting. It's not vichikicha. It is similar to vichikicha. When we say vichikicha, we refer to doubting about the uh, profound phenomenon. Here, it is not sure. Kukucha means 
whether it's correct or wrong. It's not the moral shame here. Kukucha means he's, he's investigating. So Kukucha has two meanings here. Kukucha means the thing which we uh, improper act of regretting. This is also improper act in terms of bodily behavior. Here it refers to sunset doubting. It's a different meaning. It's different meaning. Because he, but then the thing is he's investigating because he's worried he might make a mistake. Yeah. Yeah, but we can worrying, say. Worrying making a mistake is moral shame, no? Worrying making a mistake. Yeah, it, it, when moral shame is there, we have this. When moral shame, that's why I say, when a monk with moral shame gets this feeling, gets this feeling, right? But this here, we have a doubtful thing. As you said, it's a good idea. Because of doubting whether I would, I would do a fault, he has to worry about. Worry means it's not a worry about looking into the back and worrying that he has done. So this is something, as you said, it comes prior to the action, right? He's worrying. You can say it's a good idea. He's worrying whether I would make a mistake or not, right? Worrying a mistake or not. So this is moral shame is that you dis you know it's a wrong thing and you dislike it. Here you are in an uncertainty. If it is good, you may do it, right? So this is the priority before the act. This 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 one come after the act, right? Before that, after after you will fall, you get worried. Yeah, after apathy, you worry. But this is before that you worry whether I will make a mistake or not, whether this is correct or not. This kind kind of a doubting kind of a feeling. Thank you. Then we have six types of vinaya kukucha mentioned in Mahanidesa Pali. Akapiye kapiye sanyi kukuchaena. Sanyitaya kukuchaena. Actually, it comes at akapiye akapiye sanyita. So I have added to make it a proper sentence. Inquiring or doubting about what is actually un unallowable, whether to be allowable. It is actually unallowable. Thing is actually unallowable. You consider whether it is allowable or not. Then, kapiye akapi sanita, which is actually allowable, you doubt whether it is unallowable or not. Then, vikale kala sanita, when the time, when it's in the proper time, you worry whether the time has elapsed or not. Elapsed or not. It's not, for example, still it's uh, no, before noon, you worry whether it has passed or not. For monks, there is another vikala, another rati vikala. Right? Rati vikala means we cannot lie down in the, under the same roof or the same compound. Compound means surrounded by a wall and also covered by a roof. When a female is lying, we cannot lie down in the same compound after the sun has set. So in the, according to this rule, vikala means unproper time is after the sun has set. So when a monk, monk may be doubting whether the sun has, when the sun has not set, you can lie down. Even the female is lying in the same compound. So for the females also, when a man is lying down, right? I think the rule is there, right? Bikunis. Yeah, bikunis, when a man is lying down, she cannot lie down in the same compound. This, this goes to both bikus and, biku, uh, bikus and bikunis for the opposite. So uh, when a monk may be doubting, uh, still it is the proper time, he may doubt whether the sun has set or not. So time doesn't matter, on, is not mattering only to the eating. For sleeping, sometimes it matters with the robes. You have to keep your three robes before the dawn. So this kala matters in various training rules. Then kale vikala sanjita. When it is in the <coughs> yeah, vikale kala sanjita means the time has elapsed. Sorry, time has elapsed. You worry whether that is the proper time. Then uh, consider the problem. Kale vikala sanjita ekukuchayanta. It's like. Uh, during the time, he worries whether time has elapsed or not. This is about the action. Whether this act is proper or not. Whether this act is proper or not. Uh, actually, act is not proper, but he, doubt, he worries whether it's okay or not. So in this case, such an inquiry or doubt arises in the mind of monks who have truly dedicated themselves to keep a pure sila. When such a doubt arises, a highly virtuous monk will not execute the desired act as he is not sure about the properness of his deed. While the Buddha was alive, in some occasions, when monks were not sure about the appropriateness of accepting certain types of food, they restrained from doing so. 
The elder did not accept the food, doubting that it may be inappropriate. Venerable Kankha Revata was renowned for this type of inquiry. Kankha Revata. He used to doubt many things, right? Kankha is doubting. So, and in the later, he became Arahan, not a normal Arahan. He became one of the great disciples. He was the best, foremost in Jhana, right? Abiding in Jhana, Jhana Samapati. Right? He, he overcame this doubting figure. But he, as he was very good in doubt, uh, very good in Sila, he was thinking very uh, <laughs> excessively. He used to doubt, and many monks used to follow him, right? Many, many used to uh, follow his, when he brings a doubt, many were afraid to do it, right? So he was very famous, Kankarevata. One of the, on the other hand, if the monk does the act without clarifying his doubt, he may do it sometimes. He gets the kukucha because of his quality of sila, his, his good qualities, but some may just do it. Okay, it doesn't matter. Even if the act is allowable, he still commits a dukkata offense. He's not just doubting, he's not a dukkata. If you do it with the doubt, if it is unallowable, surely there's offense, right? But if it is, even it is allowable, if you do it with the uh, uncertainty, whether it's okay or not, at that time, Sanctuary. still it's a okay. <laughs> so it's, it's like this, uh, in, in the, yeah, my brother used to tell me, maybe also, you also know in some exams, in, in the medical exams, they, they, in their questions, in their papers, uh, uh, sometimes uh, they have five MCQs. So if you make a uh, if you make a wrong answer, they minus you one. So it means you cannot answer. If there's a doubt is there, you are not supposed to answer because in, when the five answers are there, sometimes we just count and uh, <laughs> give a mark. Maybe it may be correct, right? So in the same way, if in that exam you can, if you if you make out of a doubt or if you are not clear about the answer, if you make the answer, they will minus you one. So likewise, a monk is not supposed to do acts if, it, if he is not sure about it. This is how it is stated in Vinaya. As stated in the Visuddhi Magga, Kukucha is completely eradicated by the Anagami Magga. It is completely eradicated by the Anagami Magga. However, it also mentions the, in the, it is also mentioned in the commentary on Dhammasangani that Kukucha is eradicated by Sotapati. It also mentioned as Sotapati. So what does this mean? Some commentary on Vishuddhi Magga clarifies these contradictory statements saying that what is mentioned in the commentary on Dhamma Sangani is that a Sotapanna will never fall into any offense by doing something that is not sure. So that is what he was mentioning. He would not fall into this. If he has this doubt about whether it's clear or not, he would not do it unless it's clarified. So that is what in Dhamma Sangani, uh, commentary on Dhamma Sangani, they mention Kukucha is eradicated by Sotapati Manga, that they would not fall into that, uh, that type of offense. Right? Then, uh, it means if Vine Kukucha rises in uh, Sotapanna, he may not do that specific doub doubted act without clarifying his reservations. Ladies and gentlemen, points out that the object of Kukucha is always past because we worry about the past. So these are the points that I want to discuss about Kukucha. We mentioned that Kukucha is the worrying about what we have done, wrong deeds, and also worrying the good deeds that we could not do. <coughs> and all, not all, <coughs> not uh, considering about our past deeds is not always Kukucha. It happens with worry. And when we worry about the past deed, its strength will increase. And it's a waste of time because the, the mistake is not going to be corrected and also the wholesome acts that we missed are not going to be newly done because of our, just because of our worry and it is one of the uh, acts condemned by the wise people and so it is not a something to be followed and then we clarify types of kukucha, there is vipatisane kukucha is too full as yatava and ayatava worrying about the unwholesome deeds that we have done Worrying, worrying the wholesome deeds that, that we couldn't do, then Ayata Kukucha is twofold because some pe someone having gone into a wrong view, consider worry about the wholesome deeds that they have done as unwholesome deeds, worrying about the uh, restrained unwholesome deeds of, as they miss the opportunity for doing wholesome deeds, miss the wholesome deeds. Then 
another type of ayat of kucha is worrying about the wholesome deeds and also worrying about not doing the unwholesome as the examples were given then whatever worry also falls into this in the ultimate sense it falls into miccha vayama then we have three another two types of kucha asangyata kucha unrestrained physical behaviors and then vinayaka kucha the doubt or a uh, worry that we get whether this is proper or not proper worrying that we may whether we may uh, do a fault or not so this is type of a doubting inquiry and kukucha is eradicated by anagami magga this worrying kukucha is eradicated by anagami magga sotapati magga eradicates that it's not it doesn't eradicate the vinay kukucha vinay kukucha will be there always always means for a virtuous person he may not do the act out of if the vinayaka kucha happens he will not do it kukucha pakata and tanga apadi he will not fall into that dukkata without clarifying this so these are the points that i want to emphasize and with today's lecture we conclude the chetasikas we have done a lot of chetasika discuss about a lot of chetasika we did passa vedana the seven universal chetasika we did about chanda then we did about uh, loba dosa moha we did loba ditti mana and then we did about dosa also did discuss about vichikicha in detail then sadda sati then aloba adosa tatra majjatata then the six groups pasaddi to uh, ujjukata then three virati phanya we did ahirika uh, anuttappa kiri uttappa yesterday and also we did uh, uh, uddacha and kukucha we missed few important chetasikas like uh, vitakka vichara adimokka virya piti and also we didn't do tina mitta and karuna mudita and very important issa and machariya so these are the chetasikas i couldn't do because the time is uh, limited because i have to conclude these lectures at before this semester since i have to leave after the semester so um, yeah from next week i'll be discussing some important aspects of certain chetasikas likewise some chetasikas are roots of the chitta some are roots of the sansara some are the root causes for the liberation some are called uh, reasons for the uh, continuation of the sansara so such aspects are found in certain chetasikas then i'll be discussing on the next day about certain aspects of the mentality the subjective cognition subjective experience and also how to determine a reality a, a nature as a reality what is the criteria we follow in theravada tradition and also about uh, some controversial points ex- uh, which seems like contradicting with the suttas and abhidhamma that we study how to understand them in uh, in the point of view point of theravada point of view so these things i'll be discussing in the next week and then i'll move to the conditionality the cause and effect is not talking about uh, anything specifically generally what is cause and effect what are the basic theories fundamentals and that lecture will that just will go for uh, for a, for a time including kamma uh, some aspects of patija samuppada four noble truths and then we go into attainments of uh, the few lectures about nibbana about the object and if time allows uh, about uh, meditation development briefly how the spiritual qualities are developed in our sasana and how the abandoning of unwholesome qualities are done so these are the main points that i i am uh, thinking to emphasize especially the aramana and also uh, emphasis on some paramatta jatikas like anusaya kamma samangita and so forth right so hopefully we will be able to cover this so yeah this is the lecture for this if you have any questions yes We uh, Kucha, the last one is a different nature, the first two, right? Yeah. Because Same. Not only it takes the future, the, it's called Maha Kusala and Kriya. The last, uh, the first two is always with Dosa. These two are with Dosa. Uh, this one is Dosa. This one is mostly Loba. Like you are playing. But then at the beginning, they say that all Chitasika. Uh, I'm referring to this, uh, this one. Vipatisara Kukucha is the Kukucha Chetasika. This is Kukucha term has been interpreted in another two ways. When we say it, Abhidharma Kukucha is this. The word Kukucha has these meanings also. Okay. 
So this guy is not ultimately representing Kukucha. And then earlier when you were talking about like, uh, uh, the teacher was saying that you know, if you kill a being before and then take it into Vipassana, wisdom, and sati, and you now find some rupa, let's take it to the next level. What about killing parents? He'll not be able to do that. He may be able to call it, but he will not be able to get into Vipassana wisdom. Yeah, but in the same nature, parents also now have Rupa. What is the difference there? Just curious. You mean uh, how so it is obstructed? Let's say we feel a job. Yeah. And then now we regret about it, right? And then we take it as if, okay, when we regret about it, we take Sati and we think, it, okay, this is now my Rupa. Yeah. And let's say the object is not a dog, but like your parent, yeah. like one of your parents. Yes. Let's say the father. Yeah. And then you're not going to be able to reflect with that part of insight. Yeah, insight will not, will not, we can reflect with insight uh, this theory, but the wisdom is not going to mature into a higher level. And what? But that is obstructed by karma. There are five types of obstructions, right? Right? I know. You know that, right? The karma is obstructing. So the same nature, even though it's not a rupa, but then because of karma, that was so strong and Yes, uh, because of the uh, relationship of your life with the parents' life, because it, it's related. Your rupa is related with them, right? As well, as once I explained, because you greatly depend. Your rupa generations greatly depend on that. So you have generated a very huge karma that would obstruct you. So this happens not only size, some other karmas have obstructed. If you re, if you go into this. Uh, Teaching is called Upa Piloti Kapadana. Upa Piloti Kapadana. This is in Apadana Pali. Buddha mentions by himself about the 12 Akusala Kammas that he uh, was affected into his last life. 12 great Akusalas. In one, in one Kamma, he says, because in a previous life, when he met the Kassapa Buddha, he sort of insulted him. Insulted him. When his brother, if, uh, friend, uh, Gatikara, was inviting him, please, I, because Gatikara, his friend, was a very good friend of the friend, means a disciple of the Buddha. So he invited Jyotipala to come again and again. So Jyotipala, Jyotipala means the Bodhisattva. Uh, so he was arrogant because he was very learned. He thought, oh, it's, why should I go to such a place? Because I know it's very well. And there are lots of lots of others who consider them as Buddhas. So maybe this person is also someone like that. My friend is uh, uh, was fooled by him. So he mentioned, he said, insulted the person, thinking about the Kasava Buddha. Without meeting him, he said, just by cutting the hair, making your head bald, hair head bald, you cannot just be a Buddha. Something very serious. So he just indicating. How can he be a Buddha? Something like with an insulting mind. So after he became Buddha, our Buddha, the Gautama Buddha, he mentioned. So this Kama obstructed me for six years during my self-mortification. So he says that was the main reason. Because if you look into the uh, stories of past Buddhas, some have done the self-mortification just for seven days, one month. Maximum is ten months by the Deepankara Buddha. According to Buddha Vansapa. So he mentions the our Buddha had to do self mortification about how many years? Roughly six years, but it's not actually exactly six. There's five years plus ten months, right? Because he gave the household life in July, right? July, and he obtained uh, in Vesaka. So five months and uh, five months and uh, five years and ten months. In this uh, renouncing time, First two weeks, first week he spent in the forest with happiness. Another week he went to the Alara Kala Men of the Karamput, according to our tradition. So the first two weeks were spent without the mortification. Then in the last lap, in the last period, another two weeks he spent to uh, increase his strength in the body. So there was another month. So altogether nine, five years and nine months for the self-mortification. Not exactly six years according to our tradition. So during this time, roughly six years, so why such a person with high maturity of parami and uh, panya faculty could not understand the correct and wrong path, 
He says, I was obstructed by the karma of insulting the Buddha. So I had to work hard to find out this path by myself. Likewise, when someone has killed the parent, in the similar nature, it obstructs. It happened to Shulla Pantaka, you remember. He couldn't memorize a gatha for four months, right? Four months. So it was insulting another monk who couldn't study. Because of his insult, while he was a teacher, he insulted another student who was not good in studying. And he was uh, ashamed in front of others and he gave up studies. So this karma, it says, the karma to say, this karma obstructed him in the last life not to memorize, even couldn't memorize four, four stanzas. But suddenly he became a very great arahant. So it was just obstructed by the karma. So likewise, when someone has killed the parents, mysteriously it will obstruct him. Yeah. All the five, all the five, yes. But arahant, because of his virtue, is... Uh, yes. So great virtue, right? spirituality. Buddha, yeah, yeah, connected. connected with it. And the Buddha is shedding the Buddha's blood and also the breaking the Sangha because of the high qualities of these people. Any questions? Okay, so we'll uh, meet on next uh, Sunday. <laughs>